guys good evening good morning good afternoon whatever country state or nation you're watching this video from this is Ina Kumara just here to talk to you guys again today about being led by the Holy Spirit um, when you're being led by the Holy Spirit nothing goes wrong when you're being led by the Holy Spirit you will never make a mistake and you will never miss any good thing that God has in store for you so I want you guys to always pray and ask the Holy Spirit to lead you and direct you and continue to draw closer to the Holy Spirit and he will definitely lead you in the right path so I just want to read to you guys some scriptures about the Holy Spirit what the Bible talks about being led by the Holy Spirit and the guidance of the Holy Spirit so my very first scripture I'm gonna to read to you guys today is Roman 8 14 for all who are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God so when you allow the Holy Spirit to lead you he always leads you in spirit and truth and when you allow the Holy Spirit to lead you it's because you're sons and daughter of God and the Holy Spirit always direct your path and lead you in the right way that you need to go so the second scripture I'm going to read today about the leading and guiding of the Holy Spirit is John 16 13 it says when the Spirit of truth comes he will guide you into all the truth for he will not speak on his own authorities but whatever he hears he will speak and he will declare to you the things that are to come so the Holy Spirit will always guide you and speak to you and reveal to you things that you need to know for now or for the future or for any time so the Holy Spirit is the best teacher there's no other teacher like the Holy Spirit. He'll teach you things, good things. He will teach you things of God. He will teach you things that you need to know that will help move your life forward or that will help you fulfill your destiny. So always listen to the Holy Spirit and always pray to God that He will have the Holy Spirit direct your path and guide you. When the Holy Spirit directs your path and guides you, you will make no mistake, you will make no wrong. He will make sure you get to your divine destination and fulfill your purpose. And the Holy Spirit will teach you things that you never thought you would ever find out. He teaches you the things of God, teaches you the things of the world, teaches you um, what you need to know to prosper and to succeed. The Holy Spirit will teach you things that are hidden. The Holy Spirit will bring truth. He's the truth, spirit of truth. So always pray to God that the Holy Spirit will continue to lead you and guide you. So my next scripture I'm going to read to you is Romans 5, 5 says, And hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured into our heart through the Holy Spirit, who has, through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. So He loved us so much that He did not leave us without comforter. He left us with the Holy Spirit to guide us he left us the Holy Spirit to with the Holy Spirit to comfort us. He left us with the Holy Spirit to direct our path. So Holy Spirit is a great comforter. If you're in distress, if you're in pain, if you're confused, if you don't know what to do, the Holy Spirit is there to comfort you. The Holy Spirit is there to guide you. The Holy Spirit is there to make a way for you when there seems to be no way. The Holy Spirit is the greatest teacher. The Holy Spirit can teach you the Bible. The Holy Spirit can reveal to you revelations of the Bible. The Holy Spirit can teach you and tell you the deep things of God and the mind of God towards your family, your life, and for your nation. So always ask for the leading of the Holy Spirit. Always pray that a comforter will continue to comfort you and guide you. So my next scripture I'm going to read concerning the Holy Spirit is Galatians 5.22. For the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, and goodness, and faithfulness. So when the Holy Spirit is leading you, He's going to lead you and guide you how to have love, how to, how to love those that have hurt you deeply. The Holy Spirit is going to lead you 